Hey guys, my name is Tariana. I am the intuitive tarot reader. As you see by today's title, we've been beginning to tell you all about this full moon in Taurus. So if you're interested in the video like that, then carry on watching. But before we get into this video, go ahead and subscribe and turn your post notifications so you will never miss another upload. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because I already know that you're gonna like this video. And yeah, so let's go home. Let's go ahead and get into the tea. Okay guys, so we have three pals here. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one has no crystal. Pile two has the selenite crystal. Pile three has the rose quartz crystal. Go ahead and take this time out to take a couple deep breaths and see whichever one calls to you. I also wanted to say your timestamp will be linked below on whichever pile you choose. So yes, I'll see you at your timestamp. Hey guys, hey power, welcome to your reading. Um, I pulled four tarot cards for you guys and eight um, different oracle cards. Um, so far I have uh, pretty much, so we finna go ahead and get into this tea. We have, first thing I'm finna get into is the, your affirmation card. Your affirmation card says your path. It says, dear Lord, help me trust that there is a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and my illusion. Dear Lord, help me see help me trust there's a plan for for beyond what i see through my fears and illusions so that right there is just basically seeing like you basically trying to really forge your path forward for yourself trying to see things really come together and stuff like that i'm seeing we have five of cups in reverse coming out we have the nine of wands we have the ten of cups and we also have the nine of pentacles I feel like with this five with this five of cups in reverse is definitely giving me a vibe that you guys are letting go of something that you that has pretty much hurting you in the past. I feel like you are moving on five of cards, five of pentacles. I mean, five of cups in reverse is symbolizing somebody who is moving on from greed, somebody who is letting go of a lot, someone who has lost, someone who has experienced losing a lot of hope in a situation. I mean, losing a lot of um, losing a lot of like hope in the situation but i feel like you guys are definitely restoring faith in yourself which is why you're able to move on from this grief however i feel like you guys have definitely um it's definitely close to an end, uh, ending of some type of cycle i'm seeing that you guys have been very strong along the whole way being strong basically being very strong along the whole way and i'm seeing that was the outcoming of this as some type of ten of cups so I feel like some type of wish fulfillment or some type of good blessing or the things that you've been waiting on has finally come in for you. I'm also seeing with this nine of pinnacle cards as your advice card. I feel like the nine of pinnacles is definitely giving you the vibe. It's definitely giving me the vibe of somebody like very like somebody who's very financially independent, like somebody who's abundant, somebody who has like prosperity on this side and stuff like that. However, when this does come in, take time to like, I want to say splurge on yourself, but take time to really like be happy about this big change and stuff like that that's definitely coming in for you guys i'm also seeing with this moonology cards we have release your blocks first quarter moon in scorpio and we also have first quarter moon in sagittarius believe in your good luck so believe that your good luck and stuff will come in for you as you sitting here letting go things it's just not that wasn't really giving you the best of the best <clears throat> We also have the angels cards coming out. Your angel says it's good to, it's best to let this situation go or let whatever is going that has like emotional effect on you, like just let that stuff go and just focus on, you know, this new, this, a lot of newness is definitely coming in for you. I'm seeing like, look, confirmation right there. Big happy changes is coming in for you. We also have shield. You need to defend yourself. You need to defend yourself. Basically, stand up for yourself in the right way. You don't have to be rude and disrespectful and all this and that. But you can also definitely set some type of boundaries when it comes when, in this situation. Definitely set this some type of boundaries when it comes when it comes to you. Pretty much, I would say manifesting your abundance. You sitting here, sitting in your 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 ten your ten of cups. You know, you defend yourself. Protect that by all means necessary we have um lily we have spiritual love coming in and we also have ear a lot of, we have ear good news so part one if this reading resonated for you go ahead and leave a go ahead and hit that thumbs up and leave a comment below on this if this reading resonated for you so thank you thank you part one for taking your time out for this reading and until next time stay blessed guys Hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. Welcome to your reading, y'all. So we finna go ahead and get into tea. We have the guidance cards. It says, when you make divine intelligence your foundations, you finally have a fixed star to follow. When you make divine intelligence your foundations, you finally have a fixed, a fixed star to follow. So 
but it's definitely giving me the vibe of just pretty much find find um when you find basically when you follow your intuition like you know that's facts like that's not just something that's just you know that's all i wanted to say about that um let me get into the tea about this um yeah so we have four tarot cards for y'all we also have eight um oracle cards sorry if i'm talking too fast i'm definitely kind of like in a rush but not in a rush so yeah so we have the um we have this emperor card coming out in reverse we have this nine of swords in reverse and we also have the higher fin not the higher fin but the um the hangman which is emperor card in reverse is definitely giving me the vibe you could exp you could have experienced somebody who has like manipulated friends or somebody who is definitely abusing their power or authority or someone who's abusing their um what's it called authority authority over you or over a situation or something like that just somebody who's just basically kind of like a control freak control freak or somebody who's very like controlling or manipulating and stuff like that and however i'm seeing that you are you you are definitely releasing this stress releasing you know releasing this stress asking asking the people that you love and stuff like that for help about the situation dealing with this um this toxic person I feel like I feel like it's a toxic person. I don't feel like it's you. I also feel like um, with this with this hangman upright, I feel like this is definitely going to lead you in a space of as you sitting and releasing the stress and everything. I definitely feel like a lot of enlightenment, a lot of truth, a lot of clarity is definitely going to be coming in for you at this time. You see this dude right here with this, um, you know, the universe basically got him hung up on a tree and he he like he just sitting there like dang I ain't got no other way to go but I have to see it from this way you know that's what it's giving me I'm also seeing with this um moon card as your advice card is to basically trust what your intuition is telling you trust trust and feel trust what your intuition is telling you if you feel some type of way about somebody or this that and the third and you don't know why yet or anything like that just let the cycle play out a little bit you think you're gonna see why or you could just right off the back just trust what your intuition is telling you or this also give me the vibe or somebody is around you trying to um um give you illusions somebody's trying to deceive you or somebody is trying to like put fear into you and stuff like that i'm seeing that you just need to trust your intuition and trust that what is god giving you from within i'm also seeing push through any insecurity um first quarter moon in cancer and we also have new moon in scorpio go deeper so push through any insecurities that you may have half when it comes to the situation and dive deeper in, into yourself knowing that hey this situation is going to work out fine knowing that hey this is not the end this is you know i mean this is the end you know i'm finally at the end and things about to you know get better for me you know it doesn't always have to be oh i'm just sitting there in this energy you know so that's what it's giving me i'm also seeing um take action and some type of um your angels want to know it's okay for you to take action on something and it's definitely something that's definitely unlikely if you've been um asking if you've been wanting to know a certain thing or something like that i feel like question is um, the answer is unlikely like it's unlikely that this this is gonna work out with this person being very manipulative that's what it's giving me you know but i'm not too sure that's really the situation but i feel like that's what it's giving me i'm also seeing kite we have vacation could be on the horizon we also have haystack karma you will reap what you sow we have diamond you will be receiving a precious um you will be receiving or giving a precious gift so yes pile two if that reading resonated for you go ahead and leave a comment below don't forget to um don't forget to like and subscribe and, and turn on your post notifications so you will never miss another upload and yes pile two until next time see you guys until next time peace hey pile three welcome to your reading so we have four tarot cards for you guys and eight oracle cards just like the other readings and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get to see about your first um your affirmation card we have companionship we have giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. We have companionship. Giving someone your your complete presence is, is an astonishing gift. So, so just giving somebody your time is definitely a gift. Like, don't value that. You better value that when I give you my time. But that's what it's giving me. Um, let me go ahead and get into these four tarot cards. So we have this nine of swords in reverse. We have this four of wands. We also have this um, this page of pentacles and we have the sun card coming out. I feel like right off the back with this knight of swords in reverse is definitely giving me the vibes. Like you could be, you could experience feeling scattered or you need to like stop aimlessly, reckless, stop aiming recklessly about things and just needed to take this time to slow down and really get, move with purpose pretty much. That's, that's what this knight, knight of swords is definitely giving me. I'm seeing some type of, um, some type of celebration, some type of celebration, 
some type of celebration is going to come in for you guys. Um, I feel like you guys are definitely going to take some time to really celebrate something. I feel like, yeah, to really celebrate something. And it's definitely going to lead to some type of um, solid new start, some type of yeah, some type of solid new, some type of start, solid new start, like starting from the ground up, pretty much starting from starting from the basics. That's what it's giving me. However, the advice card that I have for you guys is the sun. I feel like, um, I feel like yes, lots of positive energy, lots of like, lots of positive energy, lots of light, a lot of happiness, a lot of like good vibes. That's what it's giving me. I hope that a lot of good vibes is coming in for you guys. So just try to pretty much maintain that and enjoy your time spending, spending your time with your family, your friends, your coworkers, however you got going on. But I'm definitely seeing like a lot of, you know, you shining bright, a lot of positivity is coming in and a lot of, you know, good energy. So that's that. We also have your, we also have, um, Clear your mind, last quarter moon in Gemini, which ties back to that Knight of Swords energy, feeling like you, you know, come up with some type of plan or whatever, so that way you can move with purpose and you won't just be out here just doing stuff out of impulse, you know? So, and we also have first quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindness self. So, unleash your kindness self, clear your mind out, child. And yes, it's okay. It's okay to be happy. It's okay to be um, in a good mood. It's okay to be, you know, don't ever feel bad about that. Um, we also have wait. Take your time to wait on something and no. I don't know what this no card is about, but it could be no about you you needing to wait. You need to take the time out to like wait on the situation, take your time about this and that. But I feel like if you're trying to go off impulse and stuff like that, no, don't do it. That's what it's giving me. So yes. We also have cup. We have you should you should accept valid criticism. We have beware of subdelusion dragon coming out and we got a frying pan come out we have trouble so there could be some type of trouble if some type of trouble surrounding i feel like this is all surrounding back to that knight of swords energy um uh, pretty much being very impulsive and stuff like that i feel like that's definitely going to lead you to some type of trouble just just you just doing stuff out of impulse and stuff like that i feel like you definitely do need to accept that valid criticism and stop being um delusional about something stop stop um yeah stop being delusional about something accept the valid cri criticism especially if it's facts you know especially if it's something that's serving you of your greatest good and it's not just a projection of what somebody else feel about you or feel about the situation or anything like that it's actually giving you clarity facts you know encouragement along this journey so yes so pal three if that reading resonated for you go ahead and leave that thumbs up button don't forget to leave a comment below and enjoy the next time guys stay blessed peace guys if you made it this long in the video thank you guys for taking your time off for watching my video if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave that leave a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment below on whichever piles resonate for you guys and yes stay blessed guys until next time